Today we are doing a Homer draft. This is going to take a little explanation. I'm going to have three people sit in this very room and draft a lineup full of players under certain parameters. They have to be from the AL East and it has to be a season that they've played in since 2000. Players are drafting a specific season of a player trying to get the most amount of home runs possible. Once they fail out a starting nine, I'm going to tally how many home runs they have at the end and the person with the most amount of home runs between their lineup will win the game. There's three players going let's see who they decide to pick in the snake draft you're going to draft a player for every position but you have to say a specific year for that player and that's kind of the trick of the game mm. remembering what players had really good years specifically for instance could i say draft 2022 judge and then he drafts 2017 judge once the player's judge taken, is off the board if you take judge not that those are two years that he was good at Three outfields. Do we want to do a, a DH, but the DH is just like a, a is like a is like a, free a flex. Spot? Yeah, we can do that, like a free spot. Okay. So then it comes out to around thirty. I like that. Think of a number from one to a hundred. Sixty-nine. Jake picks twenty-five. Lucas picks ninety-eight. BBD picks 71. The random number is ninety-nine. Lucas, you get the choice of where you want to no pick in the draft. Way. BBD um, gets second, Jacob's that's third. Bullshit. I'm going to go first overall. With the first overall pick, I am going to go with 2022 Isaiah, uh, Aaron Judge. Aaron oh. Judge. Okay. Aaron Judge had 62 home runs in 2022. Wow. So a nice early score. Holy c Toledo. <laughs> um, I'd be remiss if not only for defense. I didn't take Alex Rodriguez at third base, and I think I'm going to go 2007. That's a great pick. Yes, uh, I think that's because that's, that's the, the most one you could have got. That's the one. Ooh, Alex Rodriguez one. had 54 home runs in 2007 <coughs> at third base for the A Rod. Games. Position <laughs> scarcity is coming to mind a little bit. Wow. Okay. So I think I would like 20. 19, Gary Sanchez. Oh, wow. Mm. I'm going to check that for you. 33. 2019, Gary Sanchez at catcher had 34 home runs. So that's a good pretty snack. good pick. That's a good snack. BBD. I think I might want to grab 2021, Vladdy. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Mm. He had 48 home runs that that's year. That's a lot. Which is a lot. So that's a good addition a for you. We're going for home runs. That's what we're going for, yeah. I'm going to take something that's kind of... Uh, nah, let's live dangerously, yeah. right? Let's go Orioles first baseman. That's what I wanted. Chris Davis. What? But what year? year. <laughs> that's a very dangerous... Year matters a lot. The range on this There's one. A, I think there are a couple... There's years. a couple good yeah. ones. I might be a year late, which if you're thinking that, you should definitely go a year early with Chris Davis. But I want to say 2015 Chris Davis. 2015, Chris Davis was the second highest total you could have. Okay. okay. I was going to say, that wasn't the year. Okay he hit 47 home runs that okay. year. Uh, the top answer was 2013. He had 53 home runs okay. that year. The years I'm not 100% sure about, but I know my two guys. Thinking the first one is going to be 2006, David Ortiz. Yeah. When he Ooh. probably should have won MVP. I think he has to be your DH. So that was my question. Yeah. I yeah. think he probably played like mm. 10 games at first base that, that year. That was the top David Ortiz answer. He had 54 home runs that year, which is a big win for Lucas. How but he is your DH. Bunga, man. I'm going to say that. Well, right this next right. one, again, the, the year is the question. So I'm going to go Ho Jose Bautista. Jeez. I want to say it's 2011. 2011 was the second most okay. you could Take have that. gotten. He hit 43 home runs that year. The first most was 2010 when he hit 54. See, I thought it might have been 2010, but I didn't want to go too early when it was like 16 he, he, homers. Early, yeah, no. exactly. Hmm. I think I want to get an outfield spot. I'm going to screw up the year on this. Okay. It's, um, it's a little weird part of the Yankee timeline for me. I'm going to go Curtis Granderson. Oh, wow, because he had a couple on my list. banger years. <laughs> I was going to grab him in this wraparound. The years I'm kind of mid at. Um, now I'm nervous. Uh, Curtis Granderson, 2014. 2014, he was a New York Met. Yeah. Okay. That feels late then. So what about Curtis Granderson, like 2012? That's that the, works. That's one of the good And that years. is the best year you could have said. That's he had one. 43 home runs that year. Always pick the even numbers, Jack. 19 Xander Bogarts. Interesting. Not what I thought you were going to say. 
2019 Xander Bogarts was the best Xander Bogarts nice. answer you could have gotten. Nice. It was 33 home runs. I was wondering what your Xander, so Xander had. I'm liking the strategies that I'm seeing. I think Lucas went for a <laughs> big, <laughs> big punch early. I'm Beebs is going for the positions. <laughs> we're going to mute Jake's mic during that. Today's video, <laughs> today's video, we're going to talk about this old deadline. 2014 Nelson Cruz. He definitely wasn't. Whatever Oriole year he was in Oriole. I suppose you run the risk if he was on other AL East. No, you nailed it. I he had been. 40 home runs that year. Boom. I am going to make you use your DH spot because he didn't play the field for them. Um. All right. Here's one that I've been dreading. Yeah? Because I have no fucking clue <laughs> what year to pick. I will go with Robinson Cano. Oh. The years are so scary. I'll go 2008. 2008, Robinson Cano. It was early. It was early. 14 home yeah. runs. Okay. Yeah, early. 20, early 2010s when he got that power I stroke. I, I think I would have found the port. 2010. 2012 or 2013. For 2012 sure. was the best answer. It was 33. Um, second base, 2009, Aaron Hill. What? Take a look. Uh, Take a look, baby. He did put together a year. What the fuck, dude? Oh, he's right. I hate that he's right. What's the uh, number on that? Aaron Hill had 36 home runs at second base fuck for the 2009 that. Blue Jays. Yeah, I remember that ball. because Ben Zobris led baseball and war that year, Jake, and I'm sorry, I thought I he was... Yeah, I pitch in the middle of two fucking <laughs> nerds, fine. dude. That's crazy. That's fine. I've got answers. Okay. Um, Let's go another scarcity play. Give me 06 Jorge. So, 06, Jorge had 23 home runs. Um, 07 was the His one. His best year was 2003, where he had 30 home runs. I think I'm going to go for an outfielder. Okay. I think I'm going to go for a guy by the name of Manny Ramirez. Yeah. I will guess 04, Manny. You got the second best answer. Okay. He did lead the league in home runs that year with 43. Okay. So, we take those. We'll take that. That'll work. That's an outfielder. 2006, Gary Sheffield. Gary okay. Sheffield. Mm, I know. That's well, late. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I already said 06. Oh, so. 04 boy. might have been the 04 is the winner. You're not changing now. I, yeah, I think he had enough. 2006, Gary Sanchez had. Oh, Gary Sheffield, Sheffield excuse took me. Took both Gary S's. Had six home runs. <laughs> That's tough. Late. That was like 38. <laughs> what was the 04 number? 04 was 36. 05 was 34. 2012, Adrian Beltre. Okay. Mm. As a Red Sox? Ooh. Yes. That is not the year. Do you want to just say his Red Sox year? There's, there's only, only one, one year, right? There's only Whatever one. I think that's that fine. That works. Right? No 2010, Adrian Beltre at third base had 28 home runs. Okay. Huh? If that was like 50, maybe I would have I had thought, no shoe. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he had 48. Some good ones Sox there. Here, if he had some pretty honest. banger years before and after. Um, you know what? I'm going to go deep sea fishing at a position because I think I've got other positions. Okay. This one's a little risque, but I'm a risque guy. I love a risque pick. How many home runs did Mike Zanino hit with wow. the 21 Rays? I That's a great love pick, I this think. pick, That's Jake. That's a great pick. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Jake. 2021 Mike Zanino at catcher had 33 home runs. Oh. That's a Ooh, big Don't pick. give the nerds love while daddy's Woo! here, okay? So, first base... Uh, let's go. Let's go another 9 er Let's go 2009. Mark Teixeira. Yeah, I was waiting to see where he'd come off the board. Uh, 2009 was the best answer for Mark Teixeira. He had 39 home runs. Okay. Yeah, I th he he always felt kind of safe to me. Just like you know, the uh, the third base. I forget. I don't know the best year for this, so I'm just gonna go juiced ball 2019. Okay. Third base. Rafael Devers. Yeah, that's mm, like a good pick. Not that's bad. It. 2019, Rafael Devers uh, had 32 home runs, so it's okay. a good pick. I'll take that. It's not the best Devers pick. That was 2021 where he had 39. Okay. That's okay by me, though. Yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> let's see. You know what I think I'm going to try to do? Sure. And this, this right. one's just tricky for years, but I think I can get some good points. What's George Springer's Ooh. 21? George Springer 2021 had 22 ah. home runs. Not amazing. Not bad. Did he have a like a thirty nine with the Jays or the no? The best you could do was twenty five the following. Oh wow. Year. Okay. I thought he just, he's I been thought, solid. I thought he had a close to forty. Let's grab twenty eighteen Stanton. Oh, right. I know he has thirty eight homers okay. there. That's an okay number, and I'd love to. So yeah, that's thirty eight. Um, How much outfield was he playing? I passed on him because I didn't. He played a lot that year. He played a lot that year. 
Uh, I don't feel good about that. It's Alfonso Soriano. I don't feel confident on any of those three years that I'm thinking of. I'll, I'll say 03. It 2003, like Alfonso Soriano had 38 home runs. That's a, a good, good pick. choice. Yeah. It's a good choice. <laughs> it's a good Wasn't choice. That, is that not the year? The one before he had 39. Let's go with, let's get Juicy Lucy, oh. and let's go 2017 Didi Gregorius. See, this is my sneaky shortstop that I was thinking of. It's not the shortstop not. I'm going with. 2017 Didi had 25 home runs. I think the 2018, I think, was the year everybody had 27. Finishing okay. your team. So the first one for shortstop, the year is changes things here. It's going to be J.J. Yeah. Hardy. Wow. Oh and I want to say it's 2014. What a pick. It's 2014. Tell me where your head's at. Well, this is just what Jake needed. 2014, J.J. Hardy had nine home runs. Uh, what was the year? You Whammy. were looking for 2011, J.J. Hardy, who had 30 home runs. Mm. I need an outfielder to end my draft. Yes, this is it. Um, I haven't really thought of outfield since my first like two mm-hmm. picks. So this could oh. go any which way. Don't take George Springer. <laughs> So I have a guy who I'm not sure what position he was playing a ton of in the year I want to pick him. Mark Trumbo. (laughs) Mm, Here we go. Position and years matter here. Yes, they do. Yes. So, you know, it didn't work out for my last Oriole. Let's go for it on this one. 2014. 2014, he is an Arizona Diamondback. Then, good thing. Uh, 2016. 2016. His primary position on baseball reference is right field. It is so not I, had, I had him as outfield. I'm open to that. Orioles. I know he's been. Yeah. And Lucas might have just sewn it up with a big, fat 47 mm, from Mark that Trumbo that year. led all of the big leagues. I'm between two guys. Nice. And they're both middle infielders, which feels kind of dumb. So I'm actually going to pass on it. Two great middle infield <gasps> options are Glaber Torres. And Marcus Simeon, who each yeah. had massive second baseman years, which really makes me regret my Cano year. I'm going to swing for an actual DH. That's his pick. 2016 Edwin Encarnacion with okay. Toronto. Like Is that it. year I was right? I think about an Edwin year. Wasn't sure about the year for Edwin. That's the best you could have done with Edwin. He had 42 home runs that mm. year. <laughs> that ain't bad. So that's your DH? Last yeah. pick of the draft. I think I'm out. Um, tell you dude, Gary Sheffield screwed. Gary Sheffield <laughs> yeah, screwed losing. Over. If I'm if I finish within 30, I'll be so sad. 2018, JD Martinez. I, I think it starts with a four that year. So Spots he had 43 home runs that year in the outfield for the right. World Series mm. Boston Red Sox. I'm gonna tally <laughs> up. Beebs' number, and then we're going to do a dramatic drum roll. In third place, with 308 total home runs, was BBD's starting nine. Got killed by the Gary Sheffield pick. Had some standout picks here as well. I like the Vlad pick. I thought your JD pick at the end was strong. Strong. But you'll finish strong. in third. Finishing in second, with 323 home oh, runs, 30? Fuck. was Jake's starting nine. Nine. He had a real shot. If you swap out Cano for Semyon, yeah. uh, you actually come away with the win here yeah. because the winner had 345 home runs, and that was Lucas's starting nine. That J.J. Hardy pick at the end scared. Made it close. Made, made it, it close. close. It <laughs> in the end, it was getting Judge and Ortiz in the first round. 62 and four, 54 just kind of set yeah. the tone. Hey, you guys agree? Y'all got over 300, so that's pretty um, good. Can't ask for much more than that. And, beat uh, the Bomba squad. Yeah, and uh, only one Tampa Bay Ray was selected, which I think is funny. Big I thing. considered. Thanks, you know. So first no base, though. first base, Carlos Pena in first 2009 base, Carlos Pena. I was had 39 it. homers also, but I was going to go with my guy Teixeira. Yeah, Pena had some fat. He had a 46 in there, no seven. Well, who's shocked here to see Lucas win another Jam Baseball trivia game? If you watch our baseball recall videos, it makes a lot of sense. The dude knows a ton of ball, but everybody got above 300 home runs, which is a pretty good mark for our very first episode. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the Jam Baseball channel. Also, leave us a comment if you want to see more content just like this. We're constantly trying out new stuff, and we appreciate your feedback as always. We'll see you guys next time for another Jam Baseball video.